You've met Izwi, Ilola, and Tadala, but have you heard the full story? These fluffy babies are brightening all of our days, and we're thrilled to watch them grow up. From bringing in a new male, to ultrasounds, to a birth via C-section, to physical therapy and introductions to the pride, it's been a long journey for Bahati and her cubs. Stick around for all this and more as we take you inside the zoo. I'm Lisa Van Sleet, the animal care supervisor over carnivores here at the Dallas Zoo. Bahati was born here three years ago in 2017 on St. Patrick's Day, and her name means lucky, so we did that to match her birthday. She was the first lion cub born since the 70s, and now that she's a mother, her three cubs are the first time we've had a larger litter since 1974. The Species Survival Plan made a recommendation for Bahati to be paired up with Kajani, who is at Fresno Chappie Zoo in California, who is almost the same age as Bahati. Species survival plans look at the genetics of animals at AZA accredited zoos, and then they try to figure out who genetically matches the best to meet and breed and continue the population. Genetic diversity is important in managed care of animals. In the wild, we are having a problem with extinction and animals being affected by humans. So we want to keep that genetic diversity as a safeguard against any future problems that may arise. Bahati and Kajani got along right away. We started introductions in March, and we started doing pregnancy monitoring on the ultrasound every week. We had learned with Bahati's mom, Lena, that having them trained for ultrasound was very helpful in monitoring the pregnancy. So we followed that same protocol with Bahati. The ultrasound unit that we use is a human unit. It's labeled for veterinary use. I mean, the biggest difference is they're covered in fur, and we are not. So they're super fluffy, and trying to get that out of the way to get a good image is really difficult. The area had trained her to allow her belly hairs to be moistened with water and then we were able to use the ultrasound gel like they use in people. Early in June, we were able to confirm the pregnancy and we were able to see two cubs. It was so exciting for the whole team. I think one of my favorite moments was when we found out via the ultrasound that Bahati was pregnant and that we had two cubs. Um, that was a very big moment for me. I did start crying um, watching the video and seeing that. It's a big achievement to have the trust with that animal and build that relationship. We were trying to continue monitoring their growth rate, measurements of their bodies to kind of get a better idea of what her due date was going to be. Since Bahati was born via C-section, we plan for both a natural birth and a C-section. So we have plans for everything. We have safeguards for the health of the animals across the board. So one of our plans was if she was to go into labor and it wouldn't progress for more than an hour, we would gather as a team with the vets and discuss if a C-section is necessary. When we came in that morning, she was being really restless, but pretty non-specific signs. You could see her tightening her toes and kind of like really subtle abdominal contractions. We felt pretty strongly that she was actually in labor. That kind of started our countdown. Time had been passing, so with management and the vet team, we got together and decided it was time to intervene and go into a C-section. Seeing the cubs within the uterus, they weren't positioning themselves for a proper birth. We basically came to the consensus that we felt it was for Bahati's best interest and the potential cubs to take her to surgery. Kind of veterinary karma is it's better to set up for a procedure and then not have to use it than not set up for the procedure. So we had the surgery suite and everything all prepared for when that time came. We knew that we had seen two cubs on the ultrasound, but Bahati had gained a lot of weight and so we kind of were wondering if there might have even been a third one in there that we just weren't able to see. You can't determine how many cubs are in a uterus via ultrasound because they move around in there constantly. We pulled out the first two cubs and it's like, hey, they look so cute and they were covering them and they're making little lion noises and we just were kind of doing a little check of the abdomen to make sure there wasn't anything else. The vets kept working and then... Then we found this enormous cub <laughs> in the other horn of her uterus. Finding that third cub was really exciting. Uh, it was something that we didn't expect. Of course, we're always happy to have more, but we didn't have those expectations, so we were just overjoyed to find that third cub in there. We were prepared and ready to go, and so we were able to have a team per cub, getting them all cleaned up and ready. That surgery went flawlessly. Our vets did a great job. The zoologist staff worked with the cubs specifically to get them up and warm and drinking their first bottle and taking care of them while the vets took care of mom. and got her all healthy. That was a roller coaster of emotion that day. Every day is very exciting to come to work and especially coming back to work over my weekend just to see how much they've grown and just having a couple days off. It's very exciting, very crazy to see how quickly they are growing. 
So this has been a great experience for one, for me personally and for the Dallas Zoo. We have a great team that communicates so well and we couldn't be more happy that one, we have three cubs at the Dallas Zoo that are all healthy and doing really well and mom is doing great, but that it wasn't as easy as just a lion having a cub. Everything that we did just ended up being so great in terms of helping the cubs get to the strong weight, helping mom get back from a C-section and helping these cubs become lions and having the best possible situation for them to come out of. On the next episode of Inside the Zoo. We were becoming more and more aware that one of the cubs was not extending her front legs completely. Our veterinarians came up with a plan and worked with the zoologists to provide physical therapy for the cub. We actually developed a sling so that she could have her legs in the right position. We'd also take her out and do physical therapy, helping her walk from keeper to keeper to build up that strength. It was clear and obvious progress that she was making. She is such a strong and determined little cub. <laughs>